Hello, good evening. Are you there, guys? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, Jaime. Uh, let me see. I think you're like the only one that I see here. Because I don't like, I don't see these people over here. Okay, so they are just getting connected. Okay, right. There you go, so how's everything, guys? Are you there? Are you at home already? Because I just uh, see Jaime with the camera on and the rest. It's like with your cameras off. Are you there, guys? I got that feeling that, that most of your classmates, Jaime. Yeah, I mean, don't turn on the cameras. I want to participate that much. Hmm. Weird. Anyways, let me see. I'm just loading the attendance list just to start. So it's this one here. All right, so today is the 11th. Excellent. All right, so I think we got enough students just to start over. Uh, let me see, Carmen Eugenia, is it here? Yeah, I'm mean, just there. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimides. Present. Okay, nice. Daisy Maricela. Mm -hmm. Daisy, you there? Can you hear me, Daisy? Good evening. Hi. Oh, yeah, you're there. Okay, good. Uh, Elwin Alexander. Mm -hmm. All right, so... He's not get, not connected yet. Elwin Vladimir. Okay, so it's not here yet. Estela Mabel. All right, so she's not here yet. Fatima Adriana. Okay, so she's not here. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Ah, okay, great. Uh, Jaime Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Ah, uh, uh, no longer showing up. Carla Lisette. All right, so Carla's not here yet. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, nice. Lorena Beatriz. Mm -hmm. All right, so Lorena is not here. Manuel Antonio. Okay, so it's not here. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, nice. Mary Raquel. I didn't hear from Mary again. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, nice. And we got the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. Let me see. Give me a second, guys. I'm just receiving texts in front of your classmates. Mm 
you a second, please. Give me a second. So that's why it's not getting connected. Okay, great. So your classmates are not going to work. All right, guys. So let's start with tonight's topic. Uh, tonight, we're going to be focusing mostly on... I'm going to say this. It's going to be focused more on uh, grammar aspects. Since uh, basically, it's the beginning of the unit number four from the manual. So we're going to be discussing about one specific topic related to grammar, right? And the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight is going to be how to use adverbs to qualify verbs. Okay, uh, I guess, I guess you guys in the previous uh, lessons, in the previous um, modules, have heard about the adverbs. And do you do you have any, you know, like memory about what is an adverb? Did you have any kind of memory, guys, about what is an adverb? Have you ever heard that word before throughout your classes in the previous modules? Guys, I'm talking to you. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I will go straight to some people because if you don't want to speak. Adverse is, is some words that um, describe some aspect like place maybe or time i don't i'm not sure it's something <laughs> like that no okay all right it comes like something like that okay yeah listen basically an adverbs uh, is or are words that describes actions in this case it's basically uh, the function of an adverb is like describe a verb, the action uh, that probably a verb makes. For example, let's go into the whiteboard that we got over here. Lesson. The main word it's. Give me a second. Let me just figure. Adverb. Okay, so basically, an adverb is a word. This is like the most common, all right, um, definition of an adverb is a word that describes a verb or an action. In this case, an action. This is like when an adverb is basically okay. For example. Give me a second. Let me this this. Example. So in this case, let's start with a very easy uh, uh, way of identifying. Uh, for example, I get to work late. In this case, I becomes the subject get to work becomes basically uh, the verb plus the complement and late becomes the what? Becomes the adverb because this one is describing how, 
I get to work. So basically it's describing the action I was basically doing, all right, in this case. So remember, an adverb describes a verb. Another example. Ah, oh, let me see. I'm gonna choose any of you right now. Mm -hmm. Manuel ate his breakfast really fast because he was late to work. So in this case, I got this example. Check this out. Manuel ate his breakfast really fast because he was late to work. So in this case, guys, the adverb that is describing the action that Manuel was doing, what was the action? Ah, ate, right? That is eat in simple past. So in this case, the ad adverb is fast because it's describing the way how Manuel was doing this action. And what was the action? To eat in this case, right? So in here, the example I am taking, it's in simple past, right? Because the verb is in simple past. But the action in this case is being described by what? By this adverb that I got in here, okay? Another example that might be common to you. Check this out. Okay, Daisy, if I got this example about you, Daisy runs slow. What is this word uh, doing in here? According to what we are saying. Daisy? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay, in that case, the word slow is an adverb. Why? Because it's describing how you were running in this case. It's describing the speed that you got when you were running in that case, right? You might say the slow, all right? Or you might say fast. Oops, give me a second. Fast. So you see, basically these two words might describe the action that you were doing at this specific time. So, and what was the action? The action is that you were running in that case, right? So in this case, an adverb throughout these examples are basically in church of describing how an action happens, all right? So in this case, this is like the action. Remember, the verb is basically like the action. And what are like some common adverbs that you can find? For example, you can have uh, adverbs like easily, fast, low, all right? So these ones are like, like some common adverbs. Uh, let me see another one. Amazingly, all right. Rapidly, all right. Late, all right. So these words that I am showing up in here, and this is just this is just like a brief introduction that I'm doing because later on we're gonna go straight to the manual. In the manual, we got a variety of words that we can use in here. But these words that I'm showing you guys in here are basically words that we can use to describe actions in sentences, All right? So any other adjective that we can add in here, for example, allowed, All right? Or loudly, that is another word that we can use, okay? So all of these words that you got in here are words that can help us 
to create, listen up, to create sentences and basically describes the actions that we probably are doing. Okay, so in that case, those words are called adverbs. Okay, so what does an adverb uh, main function or what is uh, like the main function of an adverb? Remember, describes verbs, describes the actions in a sentence. That's all you need to know about this. Okay, now, any question up to now, guys? Any question about what is an adverb? Because now we're gonna go straight to the book, to the manual. Something that we like uh, don't get like right now. Christian, what was an adverb? If you have a question, I will ask questions. Uh, another uh, another adver adverse. No, 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 no. What was an adverb according to what I was saying? I need to know if you have uh, a A word who describe uh, 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 a verb. Ah, okay. A word describes a verb. All right. Thank you. Uh, Christian. Gabby, are you there? Yes. Gabby. Just watching the just. A question religious. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay. If you can see, if you can see Gabby, I got a series of words in here considered adverbs. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. How can you help me out? Listen up. How can you help me out creating one example sentence using the word loudly? Loudly it means like ruidoso. Mm -hmm. Uh the teacher was explaining um, the class, but he, no, no, sé. Espera, um, lo voy a formular en un momento. Ajá, uh -huh. okay. Um, um, he was speaking to you loudly or loudly. Okay. Cool. Okay, he was speaking uh, loudly. All right, very good. So in that case, you're uh, describing the way I am speaking, right? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Gary. It's not being a it's just an example. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, there you go. Now, another one. Let me see. Rapidly. Daniel, what is rapidly according to uh, what you know? Uh, but this means uh, rapidly, I yeah. don't know. Really. But uh, let me, I, I need to know. Please explain a little bit more, a little bit uh, about what rapidly means. It's a, it's, a, it's a way to say fast. Fast. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. I will. Uh huh. Um, I uh -huh. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I get my homework. Or I do my homework tonight. Repeat again. Oh, tonight rapidly. <laughs> but remember, remember that uh, we basically need. A verb right after the word. The verb, the verb is, let me see. Make in this case. I, 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 I will make my, my homework. Tonight, uh -huh. rapidly. Okay, okay, good. So, rapidly, what are you describing in that case with that word? Describe, make. Describes the verb make. All right, good. All right, give me a second, guys.
Okay, let's continue, guys. All right, so these are like the most, uh, let's say the most common adverbs that you can find, but now we're gonna be uh, discussing some of them that are in the manual. So I'm gonna stop sharing this. Give me a second and I'm gonna project the manual. Let's go, let me see. Okay, Kenya, thank you for telling me. Let's go to page 36 in your manual, guys. Go to page 36 there. Go strike here. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah? Is it necessary to classify them like from uh, time, uh, place, or, or another? Uh, and yeah, it's, it's really necessary. Uh, sometimes like when uh, you got to know the differences, just to know the differences. But in this case, we're gonna do it in a, I'm gonna say this, in a general way, right? We're not going to go deeply into that. Yeah, but there are different classifications. You got adverbs of frequency, for example. I don't know if you remember those adverbs from uh, basic modules. Do you remember those adverbs? Frequency adverbs? And by frequency adverbs, I'm referring to this kind of adverbs. Look, give me a second. Often. Always. Often, always, uh, almost always. Exactly. Right. Usually, sometimes, seldom, readily, all right, and never, and so on. This category of adverbs, what they basically do is describe how frequent you do an activity. All right. For example, if you say, uh, using always, I always teach English. So in this case, I am describing how frequently I do this activity, right? And I'm describing basically the verb teach, right? How frequently I do this activity. So like that's the function of those adverbs of frequency. And uh, there are adverbs of manner. All right, and they explain how, okay, or in what way you do uh, certain activities. So uh, there are a lot of classifications on that, but we're gonna do this, yeah, in a general way tonight, okay? So we got in here, check this out, guys. It says, how to use adverbs to qualify verbs. All right, and we got a short definition according to this in here, right, according to this chart. So uh, let me see. Lorena, could you please help me out reading the definition that you got there? First, you use of verbs to communicate where, when, why, how, often, how often, uh -huh. uh, how much, or to what degree they qualify the actions and the claims we make. Okay. There you go. So check this out, guys. We use adverbs to communicate where, right? When we talk about locations, when, why, how, how often, in this case with adverbs of frequency, how much or what degree, right? They qualify the actions and the claims that we make, or basically when we are describing, you know, like the main verb, right, into a sentence. All right, so we got a series of, uh, you know, like examples over here. Osbin, can you please help me out reading that first one? The one highlighted in here, please. Okay. Organize your inventory efficiently. All right, uh, organize your inventory efficiently. So in this case, the word efficiently here is describing what? Is describing the verb organize. Okay, now mm -hmm. here the verb is organize. Okay, good. The second example, uh, let me see, Manuel. Okay. Record information 
accurately. 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 Okay. Accurately. accurately. All right. There you go. Accurate. But accuracy. Okay. Accurately. Have you ever heard that expression before, guys? What is accurately? What do you think is accurately? Algo sin errores. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. With exactitude. Mm -hmm. Precisamente. With, mm -hmm. yeah, but in this case, together with uh, the uh, verb record, it's like con precision, right? That will be like the translation in this case, right? That's the way how we got it in here. Now, um, let me see, somebody else. Mm -hmm. Carla, help me out reading the next one, please. Okay. Uh, check for possible Im improvement consistently. Consistently, all right, there you go. So in that case, what is the verb, Carla, in that sentence? Uh, uh, check. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's like the verb, right? Good. Now, another one. This is like pretty easy. Um, Noemi. Revise processes slowly. As slowly. Okay, good. So everybody knows that in this case, the verb is revise, right? Good. Now, the next example let me see who can help me out osbin yes um communicate with your distributor regularly regularly okay very good all right, excellent. And we got the last example over here. Let me see. Jaime? Okay. Change your inventory. Practice incrementally. Incrementally. No, <laughs> Incremental. Okay, incrementally. At the end, you have to set up Lee, all right? Okay. Okay, guys. All right, from here, guys, do you have any question with these adverbs that you got there? Any adverb that probably you don't know from the list that we got in here? Any adverbs in which you might have problems? Guys? Everything okay? Okay, all right, I guess. Nobody got questions? Excellent. Now, we're just gonna read this and I will need a couple of examples from you guys. Check this out, what it says in here. Many adverbs are created by they put in together an adjective and adding the suffix L-Y at the end. For example, if you call this word efficient, efficient is an adjective. And what is an adjective? Do you know guys what is an adjective? Now we're talking about pure grammar guys. What is an adjective? An adjective describes a subject, I think, or a noun. Okay, thank you, Carla. Yeah, basically, an adjective is a word that describes the subject. Oh, in other words, describe nouns, right? That's the main function of an adjective. For example, if I say, Jaime is tall, what is the adjective? The adjective is the word tall because I am describing who? I am describing, in this case, to Jaime. Right? So in that case, uh, it's like the way how to describe, all right, nouns. So you got the word efficient. Efficient is an adjective. 
But if you add the prepos, uh, actually not the preposition, it's like an ending, ly, and you got efficiently, now that adjective becomes in an adverb, okay? For example, accurate. Accurate in this case is an adjective. And then you got accurately. So accurately in this case is the adverb. Now you got consistent. Consistent is an adjective. But when you add ly at the end, so you got consistently. And this one is what? Is an adverb. Okay. So in this case, this is like the way how we generally create adverbs, all right, as starting as adjectives. Okay. Now, but we got a couple of them over here. Accurately, uh, let me see, efficiently. Okay. I would like to know, guys, if we have understood this in order to move on with a series of activities that we got related to this. And let's start with the adverb efficiently. Can you guys help me out by giving me an example using the word efficiently? You can relate these adjectives to the way you work, right? Or any kind of activity that you do in your workplace. Could you please write down one example using this adverb, please? Efficiently. Write it down once you have finished. Turn on your microphone and read it for me. All right, let's do it that way, guys. When you finish the example, just let me know. Um, my boss likes us to fill out the documents efficiently. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gabby. Somebody else? Guys? A uh, question, teacher. Um, can I use uh, words like uh, more efficiently? Yeah, you can, even, you can even no, you can even include the word more. In that case, no problem. That's your you okay. just giving uh, emphasis on that. Okay, maybe um the computer was repaired, uh, and today is more efficiently. Okay, very good. Yeah, and it works more efficiently. You can set it like that way. There you go. Thank you, Nomi. Somebody else? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Manuel. My son organized his toy efficiently. Okay, very good. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you. Somebody else? And the drive works efficiently. Okay, very good. Thank you. Me, uh, our model of production are at 100% of efficiently. Okay, so in that, this, in that case, you're describing the part to be where it says R, okay. Thank you, uh, Daniel, somebody else? Let me see, who's missing? Hmm. Carla, do you have an example? Hmm. 
All right, I guess she's not here. No, 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 there. Christian? Um, my, mm -hmm. my SAC team works more efficiently. Okay, all right, good. Thank you. Let me see, who else is in here? Osbin? Do you have an example, Osbin? All right, I guess Osbin is not there. Daniel, what about you? I did I did an example oh, our yeah. module production, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's because you got to turn the camera off. Let me see somebody else, guys. Okay, I guess you're kind of busy, so that's why uh, uh, you're doing that. Okay, now, if nobody else are going to is going to give an example, let's move on to the exercise that we got over here. It says, listen, label the descriptions with the names of the steps to organize an inventory management system. By tomorrow, we will uh, talk about this topic. So now, guys, what I do really want is like, listen, I think uh, I'm going to send you to works in Paris with this, just for you to uh, discuss these definitions with these concepts. But let's take a look at it then. It says, Organize a product and vendor information. Okay, this is like the first concept you got here. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. This is another one. Receive inventory with the speed and accuracy. Okay, this is another uh, way of organize an inventory management system. And then you got tag and label inventory. And at the end, you got record your sales. In this case, what do I really want? I really want you guys in pairs, read the definitions that you got in here and find which is the appropriate definition for each concept that you got in here. All right, so when we come back in here to the main section, all right, you're going to read the definition as well as the concept that you have chosen, okay? So we're gonna go into that activity. Give me a second. I just need to, I just need to know guys, who's working, who's like not able like right now to participate in the class. And please guys, try to turn on your cameras. This is like, what? The class 21 and I barely uh, see some of you. All right, so try to turn on your cameras guys. Because I don't know if you are there, if you're sleeping already, or doing something else. Let me see. Uh, Carla, can you participate in this activity? Edwin, if... Yes. All right, good. Let me see. Kenya, you're working, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. I can participate. Okay, good. But I'm going to include you in a, in a breakout room just for you to listen, okay? Uh, let me see somebody else. Osbin, are you there? I need to check if you are there yeah, and if you can participate, Osbin. Okay, Elwin. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Oh, I got the people who are working and the people who are not. Give me a second. I'm gonna sign it manually. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, let me see. Okay, great. 
Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys, and let's go to do that activity. <laughs> Daisy, are you there? Can you um, enter to the breakout room? Daisy? Can you hear me, Daisy? Get all get all of your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and ship it info. Include as well the business name and business contact info. Mm, I think is the first concept. Organize product and vendor information. Yes. Yes. Oh, that the third one, do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about a product's price. Uh, maybe stock and label inventory. It's like you have to label your products to to don't be confused for you and your Customers and share customers. Uh huh. Tag and label, I guess. Label and label inventory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But what is meaning tag? I don't remember. What? So what is mean tag? This this word. What is mean? The uh -huh. Can you repeat the word, please? Tag, tag, and uh, label. A uh, tag. Ah, tag. Is label is like um when you have to put. Number two says. Where can I put the information organizing, and in what place? Product information description and shipping info, include. What as well the business name and business contact info. Uh, organized product and vendor information. Uh -huh. And vendor information. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nice, organized. Okay. The okay. next number three. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure.
teacher, I, I have a question. Yes. What's the meaning of that? What's the meaning of that? The tag. Tag is like etiquetar. Etiquetar, yes. And label? Label, label. organize. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Thanks. So when you tag the products, I think that you can you can know the price because it says uh, well this, uh, I'm not confused about the price about the price price this it says I don't know maybe is that because uh, receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's that. Number, and number three. That. Yes, stack and level, okay. and level inventory. Okay. Number four, if there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivery. Decor, decor yourself. Yeah. 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 Is incorporate. Hoy no nos va a decir el teacher que nos equivocamos en todas otra vez. What? O si nos va a decir eso. <laughs> maybe, maybe, or maybe not. Oh. Una buena. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. What do you have here? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Recognize product and vendor information in number two. And this is. Mm -hmm. I can label inventory or receive inventory with a speed and accuracy. We stop me. Check number five. It could be like a mix. Record yourself could be number one and create a create a supplement will be five. No. Yes. That is what I was thinking of that. Yeah, actually, you're right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Sure. Okay, and so many are there. Corporate pictures of the city pictures of oh, 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 oh. Let me check on another group. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay. She never finishes the, the activities, but, uh, but uh, the, the supervisor don't tell anything uh, your uh, your coworker. No, because she is his friend, uh, and is it's a stressful because uh, never but, but say they, not anything. But but they lose. Uh, um much time um, much time in a lot of media. time a lot of time in social media yes yes but uh, 
he never says nothing. But okay, is is the is my reality. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it's a good it's a good yeah. job for you. Yes. But I I in my case I think you need um you need to get all your products and vendor information in one place. It's like a crazy. Yes, I guess receive is for the number two and organized product can be the four. Yes, switch, organize. Organize is um, number five. Organize in number five, number. No, okay. organize in number four. Oh, and okay. receive inventory number two, inventory. I think. Information is shipping if including the world, the business name and business control info. Receiving vendor speed of to check out the old inventory. Yes, I guess. I will change the switch then. Organize a product and vendor information. If we can get to all the visibility. Oh, I guess we finish. We finish each. You finish? Uh huh. I think. Yeah, I think. <laughs> we think. <laughs> okay, great. I'm it's a little bit. I think so, but we select the best that understand. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go and check one more group and if they finished, we're gonna go to the main section, okay? Okay. Nice. Hi guys, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Hi, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So let's go to the main section. See you there, guys, okay? okay. So everybody's coming back. Oh my god, why do I have the camera off? All right, guys, so I guess everybody has already finished. I'm gonna project the activity because I do really want we to do this. Okay, so we got it here. Uh, let me see who's gonna be the first big thing right now. All right, great. Daisy, could you please help me out? The definition that is in number one. You want to, rec to record what product was sold, what mm -hmm. the product's list price is discount and what price was actually paid for the product. Great. For you and the person you were working with, what concepts from the ones that you got uh, about that is the, the best suit with this definition? Record yourselves. Record yourselves. 
Do you guys have the same uh, as her? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, miss. Now, uh, Noemi, read the second one, please. Get all for your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info. Include as well the business name and business contact info. Okay, very good. Which one is, is the concept that you and your classmate decide to set there? For us is organized product and vendor information. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Gabby, read the third one. Hey, wait a second. Uh, do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not, are not confused about a product's price. All right, perfect. What you said there? Like, could you please put it like a little higher? Es que no se alcanza a verlo. Thank you. Thank you. level inventory. <laughs> okay, very good. That's what it is. Thank you. Now, uh, Daniel, help me out with the next one, Daniel. This is a little bit long. Okay. Is if there is difference between the order you submit and the actual inventory you deliver, grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Ah, stock room. Okay, stock good. Room. What is like the one that you said there? Um, <laughs> if for, for me and uh, my classmate is receive inventory with the speed and accuracy. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Thank you, Daniel. All right, now we've got the last one. <laughs> Jaime, help me out, Jaime. Okay. <clears throat> Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusion. Mm -hmm. It's the last remaining. Is create and some inaccurate. Purchase. All right, create and submit accurate submit. purchase order, right? Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, I mean, that's what you got over here, guys. All right, there you go. Now, guys, listen up. Following up the same system, all this that you were discussing over here is what is about what? Is about the organization of an inventory management system, okay? And if we talk about an inventory management system, Remember guys, we have been discussing about warehousing. We have been discussing about 3PLs. We have been discussing everything basically related to what? To logistics, right? To, to the logistics uh, composition. Now, so at this point, I think everybody knows what is an inventory management, right? Or is there somebody here that doesn't know what is an inventory management? Is there anyone in here, guys, that, that don't know what is an inventory management? Okay, great. I guess everybody knows what is that. Okay. If everybody understands what is that about, probably we're going to uh, do the exercise six that appears here. Okay. And what it says in here, listen, following up the same uh, pairs that we were working on uh, in the previous exercise, it says, in pairs, use the steps above as a guide and design a basic plan to organize an effective inventory management system. 
Okay, let's suppose you got your own company, guys. Probably might be a clothing company, might probably might be a shipping company, whatever company you might uh, get to your head. And I want you to create a small, listen up, a small but effective inventory management system. What will you do with that to grab records about your purchases, about your sales, about the product that you have? What would you do with, uh, with all the process since you get the product until you spread the product to your customers? What would you do? How would you do all the process? That's what you're going to do in the inventory management that you are going to create with your classmates, okay? Good. Do you understand what we are going to do? Do you have any question? No? Okay, I love when everybody's silent. I guess everybody understood what I said. All right, let's go to the main section. Let me see. And open up the breakout rooms. Let's go to work, guys. If you have questions, I will go step by step there in the rooms and you can ask, okay? Let's go, guys. Basically, we have to do a plan with uh, with each concept that we 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 did. So uh, you can take the processes that you were working on in the previous exercise as a guide to help you create a basic management plan for probably a company that you both might have, okay? It's just to create okay. an inventory management, right? What are like mm -hmm. the steps that you will follow up in order to have everything with a record, right? Your sales, your incomes and everything. Okay. 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 <laughs> I think that, um, yeah. I don't understand what we what we do because I have <laughs> I have a problem with the inventory. I don't know. Was, okay. Okay. Hey, Jaime. Listen, Jaime. If you have a store, Jaime. What would you do to make to 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 have a record of all the products that you are selling and you are buying to sell? What would you do? Um, okay, I I have a, a example. Um, if I have a uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We we have um so many products and mm -hmm. we need to know mm -hmm. how how many products we have in 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 the uh warehouse I in don't know. stock. <laughs> You can say, yeah, in the warehouse, oh, in a stock. In a stock means an existencia. Yes. Okay. Um, when... And how would you know? Okay. And how would you know what are the products that you have? Let's suppose Daisy is a customer and Daisy goes to your small store and tells you, hey, Jaime, do you have uh, what? Do you have soaps, dove soaps, for example? How would you know if you have those soaps in 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 the stock?
Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, we need a, a checklist. We need to uh, make a checklist. Ah, okay. Good. Llevémoslo eso más claro, más grande. Okay. Si usted tiene una, una, una gran tienda, un almacén, ¿cómo haría para tener todo y saber qué es lo que tiene, cuánto tiene, uh, cuánto producto tiene en everything? Porque ya no sería una checklist, right? Un sistema es? de inventario. ¿Cómo lo haría? Exactly. Eso es lo que yo quiero. Que me expliquen ustedes a pasos. Si ustedes tienen una, un negocio, ¿cómo harían para saber lo que ustedes tienen ahí? ¿Cómo harían para saber qué necesitan comprar? ¿Ok? ¿Y qué están vendiendo? ¿Got it now? Yeah. Ah, pero vamos a explicar, teacher. Vamos a explicar. O sea, de o qué, lo vamos a hacer. ¿Qué es la tienda? No, 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 no. No lo van a hacer. Simplemente me van a explicar los pasos. ¿Cómo harían ustedes? ¿Ok? ¿Qué plan ustedes tendrían para saber qué es lo que tienen en su negocio? Ah, ok. ¿Got it now? Ok. Yeah. Yes. I feel like, like the steps. <risa> Pueden seguir los steps que tenían eh, en el ejercicio anterior que estaban haciendo. Por ejemplo, ahí tenía uno. Record your sales. Ah. Uh -huh. Tener récord de sus ventas. Right? Ah, ¿cuánto he vendido? Ah, he vendido de este producto más que de este. Ok, cool. Entonces, este se me está acabando primero. Necesito pedir. Entonces, ese proceso. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok. A eso se le conoce como inventory management. Right? I remind the... Ok. The, the, nice. Primero... The of, uh, yeah. High primero, school. <laughs> primero, enfóquense en qué clase de negocio ustedes pueden hacer eso. Right? Ok. Ok. Thank you. Nice. To know what um, when the inventory is, it's go to the customers. Okay. How do you go, girls? Uh, everything okay? Do you have any question? Something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Ay, yo, yo sabía que todos tenían preguntas, <risa> pero no me iban a preguntar <risa> si estaban en la main section. ¿Cómo hago, una, ¿cómo hago un proceso de organización? <risa> no, no, no. ¿Cómo se hace ese caso, Lorena? <risa> ¿Por dónde empiezo a organizar el inventario? <risa> pero primero saber cuál es, cuál es el tipo de producto que está vendiendo. Right? Ah, uh like listen established uh the products by categories then establish the numbers of products uh, that uh, you're going to sell okay grab a record of your sales uh tener un record de ventas grab a records of purchases tener un record de compras okay and things like that Okay. Uh -huh. Simplemente es como uh, explicar un plan. ¿Qué plan ustedes tomarían para hacer un inventario? Like that. Ok. Ya, yeah. pero primero tienen okay. que saber qué tipo de, de, de business ustedes tendrían primero, right? Para así okay. en okay. eso, ok. Ok. Great, great. Hello, do you have any question, guys, about what you're doing? Uh, no, I think no. <laughs> this is the first group that says no. Everybody, I think no. Every, I knew everybody was uh, work with questions, you know. Are you <laughs> Like what? Pero si no me hablaron en la Exacto. If you were asking me, there was any question and nobody says anything. Exactly. Because I knew that in the breakout rooms, the questions were phrase. And I knew. Ah, 
Bueno. <laughs> eh, Manuel, do you have any questions? No. <laughs> no, 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 but, but, but I think so it's, it's necessary to, to organize and different steps, step by step. It's about the inventory and the, and the store uh, and the warehouse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think so. Okay, okay. Keep up on, 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 on working then, All right? <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. And then information. In this case, can be because um, we can we can have a different with different customers, for example, and we we have to organize the product. Um, according to the client, for example, or separate to in different stand? Yes, can be. can be organized in different stand or wrap. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this same, ah, this, this same information can, can, can be in the in the scanner like in the when the the product um, um, is received received for example you can select uh, in in what stand the product debe ir I don't know how to say must go must go sorry thank you. I don't know. It's another. It's another option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because normally in in the big warehouse warehouses, uh, when we see the product, the people uh, know uh, where where put. Uh, this product, for example, but in this case, the 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 new point is uh, is the the scanner can be the scanner can <clears throat> distribute distribute the product. Okay, for another, is is necessary to organize for category. Mm -hmm. For the, the number four. Mm. Mm -hmm. When uh, in, in number four, when you when you have a, a good record of yourself, your cells and the, the system the system has so much probably and give a alert or create and submit other bullshit order. Um. I think the number four is create and submit accurate purchases for them. Can be the same system, can create the order. Like, um, for example, when you buy online, maybe you select the product and automatically the system discharge this product to the inventory can be yeah mm -hmm. this other option mm -hmm. i so, think yes, I, I i believe for example in in a supermarket in a cashier uh, they scan the our product 
and, and automatical, automatically the inventory is this chart is the chart when yes. the inventory is a uh, have a, a a little product and the system create automatically um, other uh, other purchase order yes um in this case, can agree? We can agree um, an option that, for example, when when you don't when you don't have uh, some products, for example, the 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 system can can show a uh, an alert that the product the product is not enough in the inventory. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. If okay for the last one can be the report yourselves because uh, normally the reports are the are the the last thing that the companies do and is a resume that all the activities maybe. Yes, the company needs a, um, a record. Point, attack and label inventory. Basically is, is because it's easily identified and track inventory. <laughs> Use tags and, or labels with product information, such as, uh, well, I, I don't know, S, S, SKU number um the the for the fourth is create and submit accurate purchase orders is basically to ensure that you receive the right amount of inventory at the right time and the last one is uh, record your sales uh, it's like keep track, keep track of your sales in real time to ensure that you always have to write the right amount of inventory on on hand. Creo que sí, creo que solo eso. Yeah, basically yes. I think it's okay. But teacher, is the one question is mm -hmm. uh, where accordingly at this information we need to put in order accordingly uh, our business and our business and for making inventory management system. Uh, we we need to put in order and explain about that. Like another. Uh, yeah, but that will it, it will depend on you and uh, how you organize the information. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we make uh, the this form, we put in order the this this uh, this step this uh, mm -hmm. this concepts. Uh, yeah, only that, but we uh, we need to know and be clear how to explain. Um, uh, in my case, I don't know really, and for me, it's not clearly the concept in Spanish. Imagine in English, or <laughs> I need to use in my imagination <laughs> what I can do, what I need to say, but I can say. You mean? All right, the concept of what? Uh, inventory management? If, yes, inventory management. Yeah, remember, inventory management is manejo de inventario, right? Como mm -hmm. usted organiza, como usted sabe lo que tiene dentro de su business. Que está vendiendo, que está comprando, right? Cuánto tiene de producto. So all that is like the steps or, or the plan 
I was basically trying for you to make how, how are those steps that you follow up in order to know how many products you have, what is your record of sales, what is your record of purchases, right? Because you had to set up that in, in, in your inventory management, how much product you buy, how much product you sell, all right? Because let's imagine if I am a customer and I want a certain amount of product, how would you know, Daniel, if you have enough product to sell, uh, to sell it to me? You go to the inventory management and see if you have it, right? Yes, I don't have it. It's a no, for example. All information exactly. is no. Exactly. Yeah. So all the information, you have it there in the inventory management. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Okay, nice. Good. I guess you're kind of ready, right? To tell me. Oh, uh, yes, I guess. Okay, okay, good. So I will go ahead and, uh, and see if the rest have already finished. Okay. Hi, guys. How's you going? Hi. Como vamos? Very slow. <laughs> Very slow. Very <laughs> slow. Get the information pro about the description in shipping. Um, we talk uh, about the the self of cereals like um beans, corn, rice, mm -hmm. and the oops. Okay, and corn? we need to <laughs> corn or <laughs> and, uh -huh. and we need um you I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, go on. We need to follow the this uh, this step. The um, the first you um you told uh about the record sales uh, because we we need to know mm -hmm. about the the sales of product um right. for example we sold more beans and we need to buy more beans <laughs> okay uh-huh yeah good uh and if uh we sold less corn mm -hmm. and we we don't need buy more corn because we have corn in 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 stock right okay uh huh and next step we need to organize the product and vendor information because we need to get the information product about the description and shipping info. Um, like um, we need to the information about the when we buy when we buy when we we bought the 
the first uh, lote, <ríe> lote de producto, no sé. ¿A Sarah Product? Sorry. How do you, how, what, what you mean by, 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 I mean, uh, you mean product? Yes. For example, um, we bought the 10, how do you say quintal or? You mean sacks? Sacks, sacks uh, of beans mm -hmm. and we sold the eight sacks of bean. Mm -hmm. We have just two in stock and mm -hmm. we need to buy uh, more, more beans. And um, I don't know how to explain. <laughs> Go, uh, but in this case, like try to do it in a general way. For example, if you have a convenience store, you know what is a convenience store, right? Una tiendita. That's yeah. the name, convenience store. Good. In this case, if you want to follow up the steps that you got there in the in the screen, you can say, hey. uh, for example, I create a um, electronic checklist to keep a record about the product I am selling. Let's imagine the product I am selling are beans, rice, corn, right? So I have in the checklist, I have a record of how many sacks, how many pounds, quantas libras, of any of the products I am selling, I have there. And um, I have separated the products by aisles. You know what is an aisle, right? Pasillos. Ah, oh. pues, ay, tengo separado en pasillos los productos. Ah, en un pasillo tengo tal producto, en otro uh -huh. pasillo tengo otro, right? Y en otro tengo otro. And what do you do in that case? I mean, easy. You go straight there y yo hago un tag and label inventory. ¿Qué significa tag and label, uh, label inventory? Ah, aquí yo sé dónde está cada producto. ¿Por qué? Porque yo ya lo he enmarcado y lo he clasificado. All right. And then I got a record of sales. All right. Why a record of sales? Ah, porque yo ya sé a quién le estoy vendiendo, cuánto le vendo. Right. Let's suppose a, a customer came to me last last week and he bought 1,000 pounds of corn. So that is one uh, customer that I, uh, is giving me a good income because I am selling a lot of product to him or to her. So you see, uh, short explanations like that, okay? Okay. Okay. Sorry about my okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Just prepare something like that. All right. And then you're going to tell me how you do it in the main section. Okay. Nice. Start your sales. Okay. Uh, to know what product it sells soon. Okay. In the step four, uh, create a, a order. Uh, order to buy a customer. The order by a customer. Um, sí. Aha, the order by. Okay. Step five. Um, a customer order list. Okay. 
In the check. Sorry. Uh -huh. when, we, oh, when, when, we, uh -huh. when we need or when it's necessary, cualquiera de los dos. When it's necessary. Are you guys about to finish? I think we already did. Perfect, perfect. I just need to check one more, more group just to see if they have already finished and then we're going to go back to the main section. Okay. Nice. Para que lo que okay. Don't finish in this time. Yes. But it's, it's, it's good because we, 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 we can learn different kinds of of, of things uh, because in my case I I study some some information like psychology human resource Excel English logistics <laughs> uh, a lot of things yeah. <laughs> a lot of training teacher how, yeah. teacher, how do you say commerce exterior Ex external co commerce mm, no I, I i remember that is but if i i talk with us being that in the in my company we have different uh, seminaries that the company paid uh -huh. uh, in this place uh, we have a lot of a lot of kinds for example for psychology logistics um mm -hmm. External commerce. Don't sleep, teacher. <laughs> I'm <not> listening to you. <laughs> you are sleeping. <laughs> the thing is that I, I, I said this thing because, uh, I, because uh, I got a like kind of headache and I put this on my forehead and it's any it cats mentol me. So I got like, uh, okay. I, I got, like kind of crazy. you can use uh, a little piece of ice in your in your neck but a little piece of neck does it work yeah I, I heard about that but i didn't know it, it, it works yes interesting i will try on that one that option <laughs> yes but it is is it's like uh this is stressful for mm -hmm. the for the brain mm -hmm. and you can relax your brain and the headache is missing. Ah, it's vanishing. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. But I use I this this tip for the, I don't know how to say migraine. Migraine? Migraine. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's so useful. I will try on. Uh, yeah, I mean, yes. I definitely. Only, or maybe... If you don't have uh, eyes, you can use water. Only water and it's relaxing a little. Okay, I mean, good, good. Good advice, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> All right, With so uh, what you were talking about it was like kind of training or something like that? Yes. yes. I mean, that's nice. Yeah, yeah I mean, another, yeah. Way, another way that you can know like, what was the word that you told me? Uh, Comercio exterior. Okay. No. Do you know it like foreign trade? I think I, but I don't remember. I never okay. remember that word. <laughs> because comercio, you can know it like trade. Like this. Yes. And foreign means from another country. Mm, can be, but in, in my case, I I talk with us being that um in the company when mm -hmm. you select a, a a training, it's depending to the cost we have to to mm -hmm. sign a a contract contract mm -hmm, a contract a contract 
for example, uh, in the last time I I have to to sign a contract to for two years. I don't know how to say contract de permanencia. A permanent contract. Permanent contract because it's necessary the the knowledge that the knowledge that I ad, ad, cure, ad, acquire 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 uh, uh, use in the in the job, but it's good because in my case I I have a lot of uh, certificates that mm -hmm. psychology, human resource. Logistic, English, Excel, um, Word. Uh, I don't know how to say orthographia. So, so uh, orthography. That's another one, really. Yes, orthography, that? English. Um, I don't know. Yes, I like to know a little to different topics. Uh -huh. And it's good because you you can you can talk with with a lot of people mm -hmm. about it. Yes, I mean you nice. always always have uh something to to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that's true. That's true. I mean, but that's really cool because I mean your your mind is expanding. Your knowledge is expanding on different fields. That is great. Yes. I, I like it. Um, I I I try to know another things, but I don't know what what. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's so cool. That that is excellent. Because in that yeah. way, you're like aha, uh -huh, learning different things, different ways of behaviors related to you know like the psychology and everything. That's great. Really, really, my all my my jobs. Mm -hmm. um, was in different kinds of, of activities. For example, my first job uh, was in a bank. Oh, really? I yes, I was in a bank. Uh, after I was in a, a bookstores, mm -hmm. I am a secretary. I am a assistant to the ocean import. I learned to, uh, I don't know how to say, um, plantas telefonicas <laughs> in, in the same, in the same project. Yes. I know a little that um, how to create the barcode for the products uh, internationally. Wow. And yes, I know that air condition, <laughs> a little, a little of all things. <laughs> Yeah. she likes I, learning a lot of things and that's good yeah, that's really good i learning. know something that uh, how the government job with the with the uh, with the business mm -hmm. i work with all the hospitals in el salvador and we provide different kinds of products i know a little you know a little, a little bit of a lot of things, yeah. <laughs> and that is really that's really cool because you are a multitasking person. Yes, yeah. I, I like to learn all things really because it's it's cool. It's it's funny for me uh, learn learn different different yeah. topics. Yeah, I mean from different fields. That's great. That's great to hear. Yes, I like to listen when the people uh, talk about about something about your experience. Ah, okay, huh? that's excellent. Yes. And now you got a lot of experience in different fields. That's excellent. That's yes, excellent. all my jobs are are different. Oh, yeah. different, so different. <laughs> that is super nice, man. Yes. Super nice. My how do you say my me, my idea is to learn about insurance personal insurance insurance, ah. insurance uh, but uh, it is difficult to to ingresar to the um, to enter to enter to this world because normally the companies need 
a little of, of experience and I don't have experience about it. Uh -huh. I I know the basic information like a client, for example, mm -hmm. but it's necessary to know about the about the the companies like survivor survivor. I don't I don't remember who they say uh, los las reasegurancias and another things, but I don't know a lot of things about uh -huh. it. But, Ah. And 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 those are like like basic things in order to start uh, or or enter in into a, a, that field, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And for my age, it's more difficult, really, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because uh, normally the the this this kind of company only um, contract uh, young, I young, people. young young people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh. But I, I I know a little a little thing. Yeah. Yeah, my younger brother works on, on, on insurance companies but in in the United States. But these companies are really really um how do I say difficult maybe I don't know how to say but it's more complicated to, to learn about it. Because in El Salvador is is basic he's, basic he's, yeah there are cases there are cases in which he feels like super stressed because yes. uh, yeah he has to know uh, about both parts right and uh, basically when there is no evidence about who who was you know like the the one that, that had the fault in the accident he has to you know he has to go with the part that is paying the, the, the insurance of him. So he has to go into that part, <laughs> even though probably yeah. that person might not be the the, the, the the one who was clean or probably was that the person who caused the accident, but since they are paying to him, right? So he has yeah. to go with that part. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. difficult sometimes. It's difficult, yes, and my ex-boyfriend worked works in a in in a company like that but they have around 20 years of, of experience only in this in this job uh -huh. and i i like but they never uh, want to teach me about <laughs> <laughs> never i don't know why but Someday I learn. <laughs> yeah, you will. Definitely you will. You're very persistent. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, guys. Yeah. I would like to I would like to listen to you what you got from from what you were doing. Okay. So let's go to the main section. I guess all your classmates are already finished. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. See you there. All right, guys, who wants to be the first person uh, to start? Everybody is going to participate, but I will give you the chance for you to tell me, hey, teacher, I want to be the first one. With teacher, with Noemi. Good, Dustin. That's the attitude. Not like the other ones. <laughs> okay. Daniel, ya la cámara, eh? <laughs> I saw you, Daniel. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. Then. With, okay, with no. us being, we create. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daniel. No problem. Okay, Naomi. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We create an inventory management system about uh, according to the five steps in this in this case mm -hmm. um the first step for us is receive inventory with the speed and accuracy in this case is because we receive the product in our warehouse but uh, the 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 efficiently system 
our system is efficiently because we use an, an scanner for 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 recognize all the product that is a entry in our warehouse mm -hmm. in this scanner is is uh, possible to recognize uh, how many products we receive um what kind of product is mm -hmm. um, the second the second step for us is tag and level inventory is necessary to separate the 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 products in different categories and it's necessary to identify the product uh, whatever they they be uh, the third step is organized products and vendor information in this case um, with our scan is possible to, to to organize the product in in according to the to the stand that they need to to be. For example, when a scan um, a, a product, this the same scan it recognize where is the where is the order or where is the the position that the product that the product need to need to have need to be. Um, us be continue. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, our system is is efficiently mm -hmm. uh, because it's automatic. Uh, uh, this this uh, is is like a a like like a system of the supermarket when you record yourself yourselves. The system create automatically um, a new order for a new purchase order for for need and uh, when you need a supplier uh, more product because uh, because when you sell the product at uh, the uh, the inventory is, is a there are a record in the inventory mm -hmm. and the new inventory is uh, a, a, a system put a um, uh, alert one alert uh, at a, supply, a supplier when we need other product wow okay automatically sets up a a, a alert an alert to the supplier. Okay, good, good. There you go. Thank you, Osbin and Noemi. You did it excellent. Very good. Now, who wants to be next? Nobody wants to go next. Okay, Noemi, choose one of your classmates. So in that way, they won't be like, ah, oh, no, I don't want to participate. I don't know how to connect them. The first my, one that appears on you there. In my in my list, the first one is Maria Gabriela. I'm sorry. <laughs> and she was prior to you uh, to mention her. She was like, no, 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 me, no me. Sorry, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was working uh, with Manuel. All right, Manuel. And we are your, 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 your camera, Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Sorry, we have like a similar process like Noemi okay. and Osvin, but we are not like we don't have enough technology to have an scanner. Our first step is make an inventory, make an efficient and accurate inventory of what, what we have in the shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to check the, if they're organized or not. And the second is level and pack the products. Uh, just that. The third one is record the inventory, um, like make, make a list of what we have, the prices that we are going to sell to the customers, the, mm -hmm. uh, the original price that we bought it, and the maximum discount that we can offer to the client. Just mm -hmm. to make like easier the job for the, for the sellers. 
Um, Manuel, Manuel, do you want to continue, please? Nice, nice. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, number four is record. Record the cell and actualize the price frequently. And number five is. Update. Excuse me? You mean update? Actualizar? Yeah, yeah. Update. Oh, sorry. Update. Uh -huh. Okay. Record the cell and update. Okay. And update the price frequently okay. as the provider, as the as the provider to send more probes when it's necessary. Is the um, only that the step-by-step -step for the inventory for the general company. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Now, I mean, have you seen that, 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 that most of the products in everything is duplicating, <laughs> is duplicating the price in comparison like two years ago? Everything is like, turning so 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 high in prices like like for example back in the past like three years ago the yeah. iron you know what is iron right el hierro for the yeah. yeah yeah i mean the iron was like like 40 dollars i think or no, less than 40 dollars the, 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 the how do you say 100 pounds yeah like 40 dollars and now it's like almost a hundred dollars. So they have wow. everything. Jesus. Yeah. Nowadays, like building a house, it looks like an impossible mission for most people. And not only building a house, I mean, everything is like super expensive. All right, but anyways. <laughs> Okay, Manuel, thank you. And thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Excellent. Who wants to be next, guys? I know you want to participate now. Gabby, you. Yeah, tell me one, Gabby. They, they won't say me, teacher. Daniel or Lorena, if they want to. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Okay. My who, class are working, who are you working with, Daniel? Christian Alex Alejandro. Ah, okay, cool. First you and then Loren, okay? Okay. Nice, nice. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, uh, our inventory management system, uh, we are organized, we organize it in this, in this state mm -hmm. for our for us, the first step is organize a product and vendor information. Uh, so we need to make uh, a big sales. If we, if we have a, a, a potential client, we need to put in order our information. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to announce a clean a document for making a good presentation at our clients. Uh, so, in the second step, uh, receive the inventory with a speed and accuracy. Um, uh, following this step, uh, it's very necessary to put in order uh, our product. Uh, we, we need the product, uh, the best excellent quality control, um, the best experience. Uh, we need to put in order in a, in, in a document and uh, in a place in in all uh, in all information what mm -hmm. we need to make to do it to sell to offer. All right, uh, okay. Christian will continue. Nice, thank you, Daniel. Okay, thank you. Uh, our next step is tag and label inter inventory. Mm -hmm. uh, we chose these before others steps because we have to identify and track inventory uh, using labels with product information such as um, descriptions, locations, um, prices. Our next step is create and submit accurate purchase orders. Uh, we choose these 
because we have to ensure that you receive the right amount of inventory at the right time, uh, create and submit accurate purchase orders. These include the product information, quant quantities and delivery date in the purchase order. Mm -hmm. And the last one step is record your sales is basically keeping a track of your sales in real time to ensure what the products was sold, what, what product was sold, mm -hmm. uh, price, a price list, a discount, and which prices are better for our products. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you, Christian and Daniel. Now, Lorena, who were you working with, Lorena? I work with Carly. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Uh, for this, we chose to do it about a fabric business to like make it easy to set these steps. Uh, in our first step, we have or we are saying that the, well, the first thing that we have to do is to classify the fabric by its color, material, and the way of use. Uh, I mean, you know, if you want to use the fabric for making, I don't know, clothes for kids, or if you wanted to do it for like table clothes or something, so it is like all classified. And number two, we have tag and label the fabric to uh, locate it into each classification that um, I mentioned. Mm -hmm. And number three is to record the sales to know uh, which order will sell faster or will um, which order will be first sale. So will be, I mean, will be sale uh, first and which one is going to be so, um, later, and those things. And Lorena is going to continue. Okay, good. Thank you, Carla. Uh, when you step forward, uh, we created an order request by the customer, and then uh, we need to create a list of purchase orders to know where and where and when to send the orders. And then uh, submit the orders accurately. That's all. If this is the step to this exercise. Okay, okay, all right. Thank, thank you, Lorena uh, and Carla. Now, who's next? Who wants to be next? Let's go, guys. We are about to finish. Okay, now I'm gonna choose the, the next pair. Osbin, are you there, Osbin? <laughs> ah, yeah, he's there. Okay, Osbin. I thought you were uh, sleeping. Sorry. Uh, let me see. Who's next? I was, I was. Jaime. This is the person I was looking for. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know you work with Daisy. Let's go. Daisy, Daisy. Okay. <laughs> okay. The name of the store is the best cereals. Oh, okay. We sell products. Uh, we sell products such as rice, beans, corn, and other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, we have an inventory management system. Uh, the products are on separate um, self for, for each products. Yeah, shelves uh, are uh -huh. uh, Jaime, to continue. Okay. Okay. okay um, we create the, the system. Mm -hmm. The first step, we we have information about the product was sold and that is record sales. Mm -hmm. um, next step, we need to organize and the vendor information. 
Mm -hmm. That is the get the get the information product about description and shipping, and then we organize it in IELTS. IELTS and uh, next uh, we need to create an inventory inventory, mm -hmm. and it will ensure customer and cashiers we are not confused um, about the product price that um we 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 make more fast and easy incorporate the new product mm -hmm. that's it oh, okay that's all you got okay good so that's mostly uh, uh for a convenience store right as you were saying yes okay yes. Great. good good thank you guys thank you all right i guess everybody has already participated on this Okay, great. So you did a good job, guys. We're going to continue talking about how to plan, how to organize, all right, uh, an inventory management. We're going to be uh, working on that throughout this uh, week, this past, what, this next four days that we got of classes. We're going to be discussing about those kind of, uh, you know, like topics, right? But everything is going to be related to inventory management so if you don't know about what is that this week we are going to know about that but um according to the planning it, it, tonight it was mostly related to the grammar part using the verbs so i mean adverbs so that's gonna be everything for tonight guys so i'll go ahead and pass the attendance list and uh, only one question osbin have I had the 10 minutes feedback with you? Don't tell me you, you fly away, Osbin. Se me escapo este Osbin otra vez. Okay, anyways. Carmen Eugenia, you got it here. All right, so just not here. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimides. Present. Great. Daisy Maricela. Present. Nice. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Edwin Vladimir. All right, so Vladimir, I think he got troubles. That's why he didn't get connected. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Good evening, good night. Okay, good evening. And good night at the same time. Fatima Adriana. All right, so Fatima didn't show up. Fatima Lourdes. Present teacher. Okay, great. Jaime Antonio. Present. Nice. Uh, let me see. Carla Lisset. Here, teacher. Okay, great. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Nice. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, great. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Nice. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, cool. Mary Raquel is not here. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Nice. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Now he fly away. Okay, good, guys. Thank you for getting connected tonight. And let's see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful night, guys. See you. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Bye bye, everybody. All right. So basically, uh, tonight we were discussing about adverbs. All right. And uh, you might wonder what is an adverb or what is the function of an adverb? And it's like very easy to identify an adverb is a word that basically describes an action. In this case, who is the one that is in charge of uh, producing the action? In this case, an adverb, right? So in that case, an adverb describes an action, right? So if you see, if you see it this way, an adverb 
describes an action. Or in uh, other words, a verb. Like this. For example, you got adverbs like fast, slow. Okay, those ones are adjet I mean adverbs. You got late, you got quick. How is the function or how it, they are going in sentences? For example, if you say I speak. English fast. So in this case, with the word fast, I am basically describing how I speak. So basically, I am describing with this adverb, I am describing the action that I do. All right. Oh, another one. Uh, my student drives. Low. I am basically describing in this way with the uh, with the adverb slow. I am describing the way how this person drives, right? For example, with the word late, I uh, okay. I go to work late or oh, I go late to work. So in this case, with the adverb late, I am describing how I am doing this action, okay? And what is the action? Go to work, okay? So for example, with the word quick, I learn, right? to do the activities really quick. So in this case, with the adverb quick, I am basically describing how, listen up, how I do this action, right? And what is the action? Uh, learn to do the activities, right? So basically that is the function of an adverb basically describes the verb and also we have besides these adverbs we have uh frequency adverbs you might know what is a frequency adverbs right from uh, previous modules so with frequency adverbs you got like always generally you got frequently you got often, you got sometimes, seldom, rarely, and at the end you got never. So these ones are like the most common uh, frequency adverbs and how to create uh, sentences with them. For example, I always, go to work okay for example she generally she generally uh, what works until late you see in this case i am describing how this person uh, how frequent basically this person works until what until late. Another one. They never, listen up, they never uh, go to work late. So you see, in this case, using the adverb never, I am describing the frequency in which these people over here do this activity okay or this action basically right so this is like the way how we create sentences using adverbs right and if you take a look at the manual in the manual is very stated 
right? In a second, it's very stated. What I am basically describing in here or saying in here. And the short definition that it has in here is like, it says, uh, use an adverb to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, how much, or to what degree they qualify the actions and the claims we make. How come, for example, if I say, organize your inventory efficiently. So efficiently is the adverb, right? Why? Because with that adverb, I am describing this action, okay? This action, what's the action? Organize. Right, another one, just to keep up on, and, and you, to, you understand better. Record information accurately. So accurately is precisely, con precision, right? Con exactitud, that's what it means. And remember, most adjectives, if you add L-Y at the end, they can become in adverbs. Like for example, efficient, adjective, efficiently, the adverb, accurate, the adjective, accurately, the adverb, consistent, adjective, and consistently, that is, the adverb, right? Good, so this was basically what we were discussing tonight, right? And tomorrow we will continue with this series of topics related to uh, management, right? That was like the main topic about, about inventory management system. All right, so see you in another video conference. Bye-bye.